Greetings, family. This is Pastor Lou, pastor of my father's house, Christian Church, coming to you from Alexandria, Virginia. Um, I have one small request before I, I begin to uh, talk about what, what I want to share with you guys today. Um, at the end of the end of this video, if you could just uh, click the button that says like, or subscribe to my YouTube page, I would really appreciate it. Um, that would mean a lot to me. So if you can just uh, do that. I want to thank you in advance for your time and attention to that small request. Um, I want to talk about, just for a moment, um, becoming a better you, or how do you become a better you. And um, I want to start by uh, breaking it down into three categories of what hinders you from becoming a better you. And the three categories are mindset, set mind, paradigm. And you can pretty much understand what a set mind is as you dig your heels and you're not changing regardless. A mindset is something that's formulated in the way you think or it's, it's like, okay, I'm making a decision. This is how I'm going to flow regardless of what anybody's saying to you. And a paradigm is really like a worldview. You, you've adopted how the world sees or how the world should uh, um, or how you should operate according to what the world has established, the world standards. And, and what happens is, <clears throat> excuse me, when you become born again, there are principles that, that you develop as a result of your mindset, set minds, and paradigms. Those principles are developed while you're in the world before you be, become born again. And what happens is you bring those principles over into the kingdom. In the Bible, it says this, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So the Bible is letting us know in order to become a better you, there's some thinking that has to change. There are mindsets that need to be changed. There are worldviews that are not conducive for you to, to be successful as citizens of the kingdom. So the Bible also says, you know, that when you become born again, it says, behold, old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So now there's a perspective of how heaven sees us. So what God does is he moves us off of our own agenda onto his agenda of how heaven sees us as sons of God, as citizens of the kingdom. But there's still these principles that are operating in our life that will hinder us from being who God called us to be and how heaven sees us. Um, for example, um, you might have this, 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 this principle of loyalty or, or this principle of friendship that's not conducive for you to be effective in cultivating and developing relationships in the kingdom or as citizens of the kingdom. You know, some of us have these principles where, you know, once you offend me, that's it. Or if you say something wrong to me, that's it. I'm cutting you off. Well, the Bible talks about forgiving your brother up to 70 times 7. Okay, so now that principle will, will allow you to operate as a, as a son or as a citizen of the kingdom. And it will allow you to become a better you. Because if you just offend me one time and I'm done with you, I would never be able to receive the deposit that God has given you for me. I mean, we need each other. We are our brother's keeper, as the Bible says. So if I'm one of those people that's walking around and fragile in my emotions all the time because of a certain mindset that I'm operating in, I could never cultivate a relationship with certain people. So you could speak into my life or someone else could speak into my life or a gift could impact my life. But because of my mindset or because I have a set mind or worldview concerning people or certain issues or circumstances, it's not going to allow me to become a better me. Amen. God bless you. Uh, see you next time.